We are here to tackle about the capabilities and functionalities of our prototype. The function of our prototype is to water the plants automatically with a given time and date. When it is already connected to the source, the pump will turn on and the water will pump to the roots of the plants. Because of the pump's pressure in the water, it will flow upward through the small pipe. From the small pipe, water will flow into the larger pipe. The smaller pipe has holes in each corner to function as a water outlet. The water used can be recycled since it falls back into the water container after it waters the roots inside the larger pipe. By this process, our research, the Hydroino and Arduino based self-watering system will work and water the plants. The purpose of this project is to create a device that will make it more convenient for plant owners who regularly have busy schedules to water their plants with less guidance. The prototype's aim would be able to water the plants basing on the perfect time by the owner without it setting it daily to reduce their work. Moreover, this prototype will likewise introduce the use of hydroponics as a new way of planting. To build our prototype, the materials that we use are PVC pipe, plastic pot, plastic container, PVC fitting pipe, plywood, screw, door hinge, wooden doorknob, plastic water faucet, keypad 4x4, relay module, Arduino Uno, prototype board, adapter 12 volts, jumper wires, and water pump 12 volts. Now, we will proceed to the assembly of our device. First step, we inserted the real-time clock in the prototype board where we solder it so that it will be strongly attached. Second step, we connect the keyboard 4x4 to the prototype board by using jumper wires then we inserted it to a pin then solder it. Third step, the same with the keyboard 4x4. We also use jumper wires to connect the LCD 16x4 to the prototype board where we inserted the jumper wires to a pin, then solder it. Fourth step, after soldering the other parts of the prototype board, we will now connect the relay module 1 by using jumper wires, then insert it to a pin, then solder it. Fifth step, after connecting the other wires needed in our device, we will now connect the relay 1 module to the RGB. Now let's move on to the 6, 7, and 8th step. 6th step, we inserted the male to male jumper wires in the other part of the prototype board as presented in our circuit diagram. 7th step, we used each end of the male to male jumper wires to connect the Arduino to the prototype board. Then 8th step, upload the code to the Arduino to test. After we assemble all the parts needed for the diagram, we are now going to test if the device will work. video, we can see that the device worked. It followed the time that we set for the water pump to turn on and also the time when it will turn off. In this part, we will also test if the water coming from the pump can reach 1 meter high to know if it is applicable in our vertical planting. As you can see, the water was able to get off from the pipe. This means that the pump can exert water up above even in 1 meter, which can be used in our vertical plant. Thank you.
Thank you.